Hey, what's up, it's Kasia. Welcome back to another guitar lick lesson. Um, we're going to be looking at a funk lick today. It's I'm going to be using the Fender and it's got some distortion on. We're going to put a bit of overdrive on it. The basis of this lick is to kind of learn the technique of the funk sound. It's a technique that guys like John Fashante from the Red Hot Chili Peppers uses quite a lot. Um, and it works so well because we're pretty much creating a center funk lick and then we're building a couple blues licks directly off it which allows you to solo over yourself. It also allows your bass player when he comes in he can jump on the core of your lick and you can play off him. And that really allows for you to connect and it really allows for um, a lot of the dynamics to happen. Um, so it works in pretty much, even if you were just jamming with a drummer by himself, it was just you as a guitar player and the drummer, um, you'd be able to use this technique and you'd still be able to create quite a full sound and fill, fill up the space. Um, pay attention to like the rhythm that's happening in the right hand and um, being able to create like dampening strings. That's what we're going to be looking at. Um, so take it slow and uh, yeah, let's check it out. Okay, so let's take a look at the lick. This is the funk blues lick. Um, you'll see me adjusting the volume here just because of the distortion on the fender on the single coils. Alright, so we start off that first one just with the slide in from the G, major, the G power chord into the A, A power chord and we'll call it the A5, G5 to A5. Then we're going to go into the funk technique and this is we're pretty much in the A minor pentatonic um, or the A blues scale which has the flat five in and we are so we're pretty much hitting that G string and we are muting the rest of the strings so I've got my bottom it's dead my B strings dead top strings kind of being killed the rest of the strings are pretty much all dead. They can all be dead and then the one that you're looking for, you just gently push down on. So they're all dead, except the one that you want. That's how you can actually strum, create the rhythm and pull out the one note that you're looking for. A lot of your fun guys will do that. Um, you'll see guys like John Frusciante um, from the Red Hot Chili Peppers, um, and just loads of guys who will pretty much use that technique all over. Now, when you run it, then you jump onto the next string. So we're going to go onto the using the same technique. G, just jump to the fifth fret. So we're good. And then a hammer on onto the, uh, the D string. Now what you want to do is you want to start putting licks in between. So kind of there, doom, 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 anything that you can hear. So um, the first one I've got there, slowly. It's just a really a walk up. It's kind of a variation on it. I do it differently almost every single time. Um, but the point is to be able to use your blues scale there. pretty much run that space in into the right place. So you're kind of like pulling off on the D string. You're walking up the three, the seven, six, fives. There's your flat five there. Sorry. So you want to mix that in between. Mm -hmm. 
Cool. All right. Then the next lick I have is. It's pretty much just using the two bottom strings. Creates for a really cool slide where, you know, so you're in the A blues scale here or the pentatonic and you're really just sliding on the bottoms of the scales. I mean, you can put that in, but, um, it's not really going to make too much of a difference. So take those and pop them all over the place. You got it. So pretty much just adding in, kind of like the walking up. So you're going five and you're going seven to the nine, um, sorry, it's eight to 10. That's the first part of it. 12, 15, 17. That's the first part. And I'm kind of doing up strums on all them, like pull-ups, you know, to give it that sound. So you can, And then the last one that it is, that we have is, is pretty much in, I use the G, I jump into the G pentatonic there, the G major scale, G major pentatonic. Or the E minor pentatonic. And really what we do there is I just run up. You just want to add it into that space and the amount of time that you have. So you got. And I split it up, I split kind of each one up and create that feel still just using, just using the normal slide like that, you know, just sliding in. Cause that helps a lot. That's uh, that helps you create a lot of feel and it helps really just pull out the top string or the low E, you know, it's that, it's purely a feel thing. So that's pretty much how you create the um, the funk sound. Um, it's killing the strings, it's pulling out the note that you want, and you can solo over yourself by keeping those lead by changing up the leads all around it. Um, it'll be cool then to take that and add it with a bass player, um, and you'll be able to get a really cool sound. So I'll do the lick just slowly, one more time, or pretty much at a moderate pace. Um, and then, yeah, I hope that helps.
Um, and then one last thing you can add in is the It's like that Chuck Berry band that he uses in uh, like Johnny Be Good and a whole bunch of different um, different tracks, but it's it's really powerful because it's you block the two bottom strings and you literally just bend in the G string up. love it it's one of my favorite bands so that you can go into at any time you know Hope that helps. Hey, what's up? Thanks for staying till the end and uh, working on your guitar playing. I hope the lick was able to help. Um, if you like what we're doing here, just um, you know, subscribe to the channel. I got videos that come out kind of every week. And uh, if you want to get in touch further and work more on your playing, I'll leave a couple link descriptions in the bottom. Um, there's a link kind of to some free licks that I have. Um, and then if you want to work one-on-one, -on -one, we can go from there. So, yeah, have a good week.